So the May real estate data is in, and Larry and I are going to tell you all about it. So, John, May was certainly an interesting month. We had a, a good, strong month again. But before I get into that, you and I came out on top this month, uh, number one and two in our brokerage, uh, which means we had some very happy clients last month. So congrats to you and your clients. We did, and thank you. And congratulations to you and your clients as well. Thank you. So from a numbers perspective coming into May, April was a strong month. We started to see a return to spring market. We started to see some return from those declines we've been experiencing for the last 14, 16 months. We're about 8.5% up year over year from where we were um, a year months. ago, 12 months ago. Yeah. Uh, coming into May over April, April was a strong month. It was good to see some return, but we were up again in May. We are 15% for the region um, increase over sales over the previous month. So that's across the region. It's going to fluctuate from neighborhood to neighborhood and city to city, but all good signs pointing in the right direction. And so that, that feeds in nicely to what we're seeing in terms of average sale price as well. Um, a lot of communities were, um, were up. Some were a little bit down year over year, but month over month, especially April compared to March, up significantly. May compared to April, a little bit flat, but we didn't lose any ground either. And so when we compare that uh, May numbers to 12 months prior, that year over year figure, uh, I've seen a lot of growth to the point where we're almost par with where we were 12 months ago. That's good. That's not quite back to the peak in the market, but no. it's good to hear that we're, we're trending in that right direction. That also plays into where we are with days on market. A year ago when we were on that downward trend, our days on the market were getting along. We had a lot of relists happening out there. We had a lot of homes that were being canceled and repriced, price reductions. We were seeing homes sit on the market sometimes 90, 120, 180 days on the market before yeah. they were being sold. And that was in a historically low inventory. We're starting to see those days trend down now. Across the region, we averaged about 23 days on the market, uh, which is a good sign from where we were. Over 75 days on the market a year ago is an average, but we're trending in the right direction. So a lot of good things happening there in the market. May had some good things happen. We'll see what happens in June, but overall, what's happening out there on, on a national level, what we're seeing on the news, not necessarily reflective of what's happening in your neighborhood. No. So it's important that you make sure you know what's going on with your home type in your neighborhood. And if you really want to get specific on it, you need to reach out to one of us and we'll help you out with a CMA. In between that comparative analysis that we can put together um, and the information that's in this newsletter, uh, there's a lot of good detail there that's going to really help clients drill down into what their home might be worth relative to their community. And John, that's not just important if you're looking to sell your home. I mean, keep in mind, there's a lot of people out there who are possibly looking at doing some refinancing. Maybe they want to do some renovations. Maybe they're doing some, some estate planning and they want to know where their total equity position is or what their portfolio looks like. Well, and if they're if they're buying another property, either as a upsizing, downsizing, investing, whatever it is, that equity position is ultimately really, really important. Until next month, uh, May has been a strong month. Looking forward to see what happens in June and uh, hopefully we can get back near the top of the chart again. Let's hope so. All right. All the best. Have a good month.